Okay, does the state recognize the presence of the jury? And does the defense? Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Did you heed all of my previous admonition? Okay, I'm uh, working on the two matters that you asked me uh, uh, to work on. Dish in the restaurant, and I guess the hamburger. Okay. All right, state may proceed. Your Honor, at this time we would uh, seek permission to publish what I believe will be 71 in evidence. There is a stipulation uh, regarding this matter as well. Okay, is that the video involving George and Cindy Anthony, July 30th? Correct. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, let me read to you the following stipulation between the state and the defense. George and Cindy Anthony attended a video recorded visitation with Casey Anthony at the Orange County Jail on July 30th, 2008 at 900 hours. The video recording is a true and accurate representation of the visitation. The parties have agreed to this fact and it should be considered as true in your deliberations. You may proceed uh, to uh, publish the exhibit, noting previous objections. The exhibit is exhibit number what, Ms. Exhibit number 71. on that a little bit. Can you, Dad, stand up and model again? Dad, stand up, Dad. Can you see her? Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Annie had those done. Annie had those done? Annie She's awesome. Done. Tell awesome. Annie, thank you. Yeah, tell her thank you. I think we just got them last night. Cool. Um, didn't get to sleep really the night before, so I was catching up on that from last night. I think I passed out at like 7.30, woke up maybe twice in the middle of the night, passed back out and woke up at 5.15, 5.20 when breakfast came this morning. So I at least got a good sleep last night. So I'm still a little tired. <laughs> um, oh. Good to see you yesterday. Yeah, you too. I mean, I know I missed our visit in the morning, but at least I got a chance to see you in person, which, you know, is a little bit better anyway. So, how's dad doing? He's okay. I'll let you say hi. Okay. Hey, beautiful. Hi. Joe. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm so glad to hear your voice. Yeah, I know. Likewise. And, and to see you right now. And you know, it makes me feel very good. So, I'll get to see yesterday just for a brief moment. Just a little away from you. But I want you to know I love you. Yes. I know. I love you too. The house, the house is very quiet. <laughs> you know, with not being there, with him, with, with Kayla not being there, it's just empty. You know? I know. So um, it's harder and harder each day. Trust me. I know. Every day it gets longer. What? It's Wednesday. So it's been two weeks. I just want you to know the outpouring of, of friends and, and just total people we've never even met before in our lives. Like, they're touched by everything, you know, and, and everyone's focus is, you know, for Kayla. And that's, that says so much about, about her. Yeah, I just wish that, you know, outside of our family and our friends and our community that there was more people, you know, more people that are directly involved with the case that their focus well, was Kaylee. Well, but, you know, we try to keep everyone in. You know, in, in that particular mindset, you know, it, it's like questions about you, but we always try to redirect that to find it. our granddaughter. So, oh, I know. I know that's your focus, and I'm glad. 
No, I just want you to realize sometimes it's going in any direction makes some direction to find her. You know, we just need as much help as we can get. Oh, absolutely. And you know that I'm going to give you whatever help that I can from where I'm at, considering the situation, so. People from, you know, the east side of town, the west side of town, north, south, miles and miles away from them, so we're stopping yeah. by. Lee was telling me about the charities and stuff that you're directly involved with. Um, yeah, there's a lot things of that you're stuff doing. Yeah. Yeah. But this, this week, you know, up in Daytona. That's I something he was telling me about. Yeah. This wrestling organization wants to do a benefit for her, uh, you know, for the other children. And it's just, you know, bring us up. Your mom wants to hold on to Okay. Hey. Hey, sweetie. People Magazine is doing a feature on missing children. Kaylee's uh-huh. going to be on the cover on Friday. Okay, yeah, I remember you had said something about that. Yeah, well, it was finalized. We haven't we haven't seen it yet, but it said it's coming out on Friday. Yeah. So that'll hit a lot of new stands and get her picture out, places that we might not be able to do. Well, good. I mean, God, every day I just... Is there any... Mom, we're, any, we're not talking. No, 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 no. No, I'm very off the heart. I'm just, just wondering if there's anything else you want me to tell Kaylee, because everybody's, you know, I always get an opportunity to speak to the media. Is there anything you want me to say to Kaylee? Any new thoughts or anything? Just tell her that I love her and that I miss her. I mean, that's, that's the constant. being as strong as I can considering the situation it's just hard it's just very hard I know I just God I just want to go home every day I wake up I'm just hoping and praying that I get to go home I just want to be with you guys I just want to help find her because I feel a little hopeless. I feel a little helpless here. I mean, honestly, not really hopeless, but more helpless because I can't do anything from where I'm at. Is there anything I could do for you that would make you feel like you're doing something? Is there anything special you want me to do? I have to just, just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, I heard that you were on Larry King last night. I'm sure that went well. He's a very insightful person. Holly went on Nancy Grace last night. Did she? Yes. I could hear her. She was in the room next to me. <laughs> she was tough. She's a tough lady. She she loves you. I, I know she very, does. very much. She always has. I know I that. Know. When I got a chance to talk to Lee the other day, he was telling me about everybody's involvement, especially Holly and Fred. And you know, that much in our community, which, yeah. you know, is good because they're our extended Annie, family. Annie and Corey and Becky and just everybody's helping out. Good. Doing everything that they can. I got to see Lauren the other night. Did you? How is she? House. What? Do you know what the baby is? It's a boy. <laughs> I didn't have a boy. I gave her belly a kiss. I've got a card from her and Mandy for you. I can get them to you. We'll get them to you. Okay. Yeah. I knew she was going to have a boy. I just, I could feel it. I had a dream about her the other night. She's, she's starting a show. She's really cute. Oh, man. I want to see you her. Very much. I love you very much. Everybody, um, everybody is helping their own way. Chris Corso stopped by last night. Did he? Tell you that he loves you. Oh, Those are my big brothers, I know. <laughs> Every day I'm worried about Grandma. How is she? Um, is there any change? I haven't had a chance to talk to her. I've emailed her. It's very hard, Casey. Um, I know. It's very emotional. And it's, it's very hard, and I just, I know that Uncle Dan's taking good care of her. Oh, Uncle Dan's been up, okay. I believe so. Oh, God. Just my heart is aching. 
because I just want to be back with our family. At least my gut every day. Stronger and stronger. I know we're going to see Kaylee. I know she's coming home. I can feel it. I want, I want you to know now. that. I know. I, I want, want her, her home now. now. I want her home so we can celebrate her third birthday. I know. Family again. I know. Every day I can feel it, Mom. I know that I'm going to be home with you guys. I know she's going to be home with us. Everyone just has to keep that faith because mine's growing stronger every day. Have you been able to speak with a, a pastor or a minister or anything like that? Um, it's kind of funny. One day last week, I was supposed to be going to see Jose. Normally, we'd meet in one of the rooms that's right outside of our dorms. And there's two people sitting at this table, and that's where they sat me down. And I'm thinking, this isn't my attorney. Um, coincidentally, it was, um, you know, the two people that work here for the church and all of that. And we sat down and, and had a little conversation while we were waiting to get stuff sorted out to find out where Jose was. And he told me a little story. Um, at that moment, I mean, that's exactly what I needed. It lifted my heart. It lifted my spirits. What was the story? Did you share it? Yeah. Um, he was telling me that one night, you know, he went to bed and he had a very heavy heart and couldn't figure out why. And he woke up in the middle of the night and he was in a closet and just waking up in a closet, not knowing how he got there, why he got there and just started laughing and just kept laughing. And the more he laughed, he said he ended up cracking himself up to the point that he forgot what was ailing him, what was bothering him at that time. And his heart lifted and it made him feel better. And we're just in there having, you know, a great laugh about it. And, you know, and he even told me that laughter is one of those things that can get you out of whatever you're feeling, right. even when you're at your lowest point. Well, and it's true. It's just as therapeutic as crying. Oh, of course. And, you know, it's, it's necessary. You can't feel guilty for, for, you know, laughing. You can't feel guilty for no. having, you know, um, thoughts of other things. I know you're, you're consumed with Kaylee. But I do need to keep myself distracted. And that night, it was just before I saw Jose. I mean, it happened for that reason. I mean, everything happens for a reason. I know that, you know, I was talking to a couple people about that yesterday. Everyone that I ended up talking to yesterday was the most nuts morning. You wouldn't even believe they woke me up at 430 to take me to the courthouse, which I knew I didn't have to be there until the afternoon. So I'm thinking, well, why are they getting me four and a half hours earlier than they did last time? Well, they just want to keep you out of everybody. No, 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 not no. even. They thought that I had morning, um, a morning court. So I'm walked down with another person. They put her in holding, you know, they take me down, whatever. And... I take my first right over to the courthouse. We get there about 6.45. And there's no room for me because I have to be by myself again. So they sent me back here. And I came back here until, you know, about 9, 9.30. In the meantime, witnessed something else that was just very enlightening to me throughout the morning. And get back to the courthouse again. And it's the same people that were there the prior week when we had gone for the bond hearing. So they knew me by name, um, kind of made me smile, made me laugh, because it was a couple of really nice ladies that took care of me, in a sense. Right. Right. Um, the outcome of yesterday, I mean, I kind of expected that, so it didn't bother me so much. I just was kind of worried about, obviously, our conversations, so we have to keep everything as, as quiet as possible, which is fine. I'd rather talk about other stuff as much as we can anyway. Um, had a little laugh about that with the two guys that walked me back out because one of them was the same guy from the week before and it was like deja vu you know within all of that time and it, it made me smile it made me laugh seeing you guys both there yesterday I know that I was supposed to see you both in the morning that made me even happier to see you both to hear dad in person to see you in person even though we didn't get a chance to speak right. but that felt so much better in my heart because at least then you weren't that far away. Right now, right. you know, there's so much between us. And and yesterday, that made me feel better. 
Pasadena and then coming back here, I rode on one of their vans three times yesterday. So I got a little field trip. So it was kind of nice to be out of this atmosphere and to be gone all day. Granted, I only had three hours of sleep that night or going into it just because of things going on here. But I mean, in a way it was kind of uplifting. It just kind of put a lot of stuff back into perspective, not that my perspective's been um, faltered or has wavered in any sense, but it just kind of showed me some things about myself, about, you know, what's going on in the world outside, which is what I needed. Um, you know, and again, to see you both was probably the most important thing of the day. So I'm glad that you guys got a chance to come. I know you probably didn't hear about the court until last minute, which I had neither. We didn't hear about it until we were here waiting for our, we were here uh -huh. waiting for you yesterday, and then they said you were already taken over there. So mm -hmm. we were sitting here at an empty screen, <laughs> wondering where you were. We're, Yeah. Well, I was hoping that someone would relay the message to you. I mean, again, I didn't know about it until 1030 the night before. Right. So it was kind of a, hey, real quick, we're going to court tomorrow. So I'm thinking, all right, great. At least I got a chance to shower the night before. <laughs> um, so well, anyway. Well, over here shaking, wanting to talk to you. So I'll I know he is. I saw you pushing his hand. <laughs> you were telling me a story. I wanted you to be able to do that. I know. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Grandma, Grandpa, I have me send their best to you. How are they doing? Uh, they're not doing too well. Grandpa, I have uh, He's had some episodes. He's had to take a lot of uh, extra medication. Okay. And she's almost had to call, I guess, the paramedics last two, last two three days. Uh -huh. Almost every day. So I just want to let you know this is how to take a toll on us. You know, I mean, they, they want the best for you, but you want to go go back, you know. And they're apologizing because, you know, they felt, you know, they weren't around enough for her and stuff. I tried to explain to them, you know, it's, that was the pitch. I mean, they, they, they got, you know, they got to see, you know, you know, when they physically could, so. Yeah, exactly. They got to spend time with her. It's not like they just saw her once when she was a baby. I mean, they got to see her even more know, interactively as she's gotten older. Well, you know, anytime I even talk to them, all this stuff happens, you know, they always ask, you know, well, number one is, just, you know, how's Kaylee? You know, then how's Casey? You know, then how's, yeah. you know, how's Lee? You know, you know there are very many times, you know, many times they're asked about me. You know, sometimes they're all concerned about you and her, you know. Oh, I know. Yeah, I mean, it's always genuine. Of course. But, you know, I just want you to know, you I know, I miss you guys too. Trust me, you've, I could have been a, you've no a idea. Better dad, a better grandma. You know? Dad, God, I can't say this enough to you. You've done everything that you possibly can, and you are the best father. And by far the best grandfather that I've ever, I've ever met. I'm going to say that, and I mean that with all my heart. Don't for a second think otherwise, because I won't let you, because it's it's not the case. You and mom have always done everything that you ever can to be the best parents, and especially the best grandparents. Well, you know, so, you know, the house, you know, the house that you live at, she lives at, you know, that's, that's your guy's home. It's all and we're coming home. <laughs> and we're all going to be back there. We're all going to be home together. You guys just need to have strong faith. Just keep believing that because it's going to happen. I can feel it. I was just telling mom. I mean, I can feel it more every day. So I don't want, you know, you guys not to eat or not to sleep. I want to take care of mom, please. She needs to eat. She's talking about me getting too skinny. You know, I've always been this way. She needs to take care of herself. I don't want to see anything happen to anybody, especially because of this. You know, it, it goes both ways. You're eating things that I've never ate before and never thought of. <laughs> you still got to keep your You got to keep your thoughts. Oh, so I have you know, been that. You got to have faith in, in everything. That's all. This is just going to work itself out. It's going to be hard. <sighs> what I want you to realize is the way things are going. It's, it's, it's um, pictures are being painted. It's that slogan. Slogan tough. 
so. I don't want to say it's par for the course, but again, I mean, it kind of is what it is at the moment. And there's only so much that we can all do. I just want you guys to keep your focus where it's been. That's where it's important. That, 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 that focus is more than 100% not only from us, but people like us we haven't even met before. It's just friends. It's really something. You know, the point has been fantastic. Well, that just shows that the media, although they're they're portraying something, people within their own will, within their own strong mind, believe otherwise. Know otherwise. And that's what's is important. There anyone, is there anyone you want us to contact that you want to talk to? Um... I'd really like to talk to Ryan just because it was kind of brief. Um, I want to talk to Annie. I want to talk to everyone. But again, I'd rather wait and do that when I can see everyone in person and not have other faces and other people's rights violated by being thrown all over the, the media. I mean, that's something very discerning to me. I mean, you guys are already in the media. So in a way, I mean, it still bothers me. But not quite as much because I know that if there's anyone to speak for me it's it's the two of you and, and Lee so that I'm I'm more than okay with I really want you both to thank Annie for me I mean I know how much she's always cared but this shows that much more and I missed two visits yesterday I don't really know who they were for who they were with but I declined last night just because of of court and and things of that nature, and I kind of just needed to keep to myself. I'm glad I went to bed early. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, I'll just speak to you again. I love her. <laughs> I know. Oh, you both hope so bad. I'm trying to sit so strong for you. And you've done such a great job, Mom. I want you to know that you have. Everybody said that. Everybody tells me every day. I am day. trying so hard, but it's getting harder every day. You have to stay as strong as you can, Mom. You have to. I know it's hard. Trust me. I know. I know better than anyone right now. I know you do. You have to keep your strength as much as you can. I know you're doing so great. You need us when she comes home, and then you're gonna need us when you get home. I'll be fine. I'm fine now because I have you guys. I have you guys, even if it's not in physical form at the moment. I have your love and support. I have everything that I. She doesn't see us. I know that. Yes. She's going to need all of us, so we all need to be strong. You need to take care of yourself. I was just telling Dad, like I told Lee, you need to eat. You need to sleep. This you need to take care of yourself. Hurt Kaylee, is she She's not going to hurt Kaylee, is she? Oh, I told you in my gut. I know she's still okay. I can feel it, Mom. I know she's still okay. We're going to get our little girl back to be just as she was. I'll never let us, anybody outside of family. No. <laughs> Trust me, I've said the same thing. I'm going to be the crazy overprotective mom at that point, but I don't care. I think it's well warranted, well deserved. You've always been protective, mommy. Yeah, well, like I said, the crazy. <laughs> I won't let her out of my sight. So I'll do whatever I have to. I know we'll figure all that out when it comes to it. We'll figure out. I mean, I've been thinking about jobs and schedules and what I could do, you know, you don't how I can work. <laughs> well, work. We'll figure all that stuff out. We'll figure everything out, but I want it to overlap to where we can all have our time and I'll be with her. Because she's not just my little girl, and I know, I mean, she's, she's my baby. She'll always be my baby, but she will always be your baby and dad's baby and Lee's baby. She's our little girl. I've used dad's hand analogy with a few people and they've smiled, they've laughed and they've said that that's, that's very insightful and it's very true that we're all like a hand. Oh yeah. I used that a couple different times and said that to a few ladies yesterday and it made them smile. And you know, it's funny for mother. Talk from to the hand. Remember that saying? <laughs> Pretty much. We're stronger than we've ever been. We'll, and our strength will continue to grow. Tell Dad to breathe. It's okay. <laughs> I 
Remember, I can see you. I know. <laughs> I know it is, Mom, but you guys are on, on the right side. You're trying to find Kaylee, and that's what's important. That's that's everyone's focus. That's what it should be. And I know you're doing everything you can from your end, to, you know, to say what you can say, to protect what you need to protect. I'll continue to do whatever I have to. And, you know, try to say what I can, when I can, as I can, as soon as I can get out of here. Yeah. Did you, did you ever get to write any letters? Because we haven't gotten this yet. I, because of the certain circumstance of which I am in here, I have a limited time. So that's why the note that I've sent with Jose, that was really the first chance I'd gotten. So I'm going to try to do that whenever I get my time with him. Um. Last night was kind of more of a business angle on things, but whenever I get time to, I'm absolutely going to, even if it's just a little note here and there. I mean, I'll, I'll do what I can when I can. So my face is wet and I can't even wipe myself. <laughs> I still haven't had a chance to call. I've just remembered after our last conversation, you wanted me to talk to Amy and Brian, and I haven't had a chance to talk to them yet, so I'll reach out to them today. Yeah, I think Amy might have been one of those people that tried to come for a visit last night, which I was actually asleep. Um, you know, I want to apologize to whoever was scheduled to come. Um, but again, just I kind of the want to keep things. That, the only hmm. one that I knew was scheduled was that Will, was Will. William. Yeah, well, there's someone else that was scheduled, I guess, after him at nine. I declined both. Um, I'm declining any visits outside of family or obviously my time with Jose. So if you could kind of pass that along to people, I mean, okay. not through the media, obviously, which this might do anyway. Um, just kind of let them know, hey, I mean, I know that they're all there. You know, I know that they're all out there doing what they can for me and for our family, especially for Kaylee. But... You know, I need to just kind of keep things within our family at this point as much as possible. Keep my focus there. Um, although, I'd like I said, I'd like to talk to everyone. I'd rather just wait and do that when I can I see everybody. I know. So I guess I'm kind of glad that I haven't been crying every single day. And I mean, inside, yeah, of course. But I'm keeping my, my wits about me and I'm, I'm staying as strong as I possibly can. This is the strongest I think I've ever been, just because it's even when I've wanted to break down, I mean, I've been able to calm myself quickly without doing much of that. I mean, it's it's hard considering where I am, considering the situation, but I just keep thinking about you guys, and actually that's the thing that that makes it okay, that makes me feel okay about not crying and being so emotionally distraught that I can't even, you know, think straight. I know. It's the same way with me. I mean, I could curl up in a ball and just be so absorbed with her not being there, which there's moments yeah. that I'm like that, but I, I know that's not going to bring her home. No, it's not. Someone has to be her little voice out there. Exactly. And you're not a little voice by any means. Well, you know me. I... Exactly. And you know what's funny? I'm going to say this and you're going to laugh. And I think it's hilarious. Everybody always says, you guys have always said that I'm the loudest one in our family. And then it's you and then it's Lee and then dad. Because dad's, dad's the quiet and reserved one. We all know this. But I've been told otherwise from multiple sources that it's your son who's the loud one. Then it's you. Then it's me. So, uh, ha. <laughs> it's all right. I don't want to be the loud one. I don't want to be the one. Oh, you're yeah. still the middle one, so you're you're still the moderator with them, so it's not too bad. We know that Dad will always process things thoroughly before having some sort of reaction or really before saying anything. He's very choice with his words. He always has been, um, which is good because I think within our family, we kind of need someone like that. You know, little Kaylee is, is like you and I. <laughs> so... Oh, man, it's so good to see you guys. You have no idea. Like, I just want to keep saying that. I know. I mean, that's all we were thinking about yesterday since this thing got canceled. It's at least we had today. We were going to yeah. do it last night, but we didn't know when there would be an opportunity. 
so we played it safe to do it this morning. Well, I'm glad that you waited because, you know, had you come at even 8 o'clock or, you know, whenever I was already asleep. And at that point, I mean, I wasn't even really asking who was coming. I was like, look, if it's not my family, just let them know that I'm not taking any visits. Just because, you know, for obviously multiple different reasons. It's just easier, you know. I'd rather spend whatever time that I can with everyone, but again, especially with you guys. So, um, do you want us to make another appointment as soon as we can? Of course. Yeah. I'll yeah. see you guys and talk to you guys whenever. I mean, all I'm doing is sitting around reading and, excuse me, getting a chance to nap a little bit. So. We'll make another one as soon as we can while we leave here today. Okay. Um, now, can you just walk up and say, hey, I want an appointment in like an hour? Or do you have to do it no, ahead of time? Whenever they have availability. And you're only based off of other so people. Many. Yeah. Yeah, you're only allowed so many in a week, I guess. Okay. So. And All right. As well. far as I know, you should have one more left this week because Lee took one and, and then this today. And no one else, I don't think, has got to see. Because I declined those two others, yeah. So I'm wondering if that will throw a couple more, like, back in the bank or... Well, the media said that Will canceled it. So... Oh, well, hey, that's good. That's fine. God bless you, Dad. <laughs> um, I think you want me to tell Lee. I'll be talking to him soon. Just tell him, you know, thank you. For, for everything that he's doing. I know he's he's doing whatever he possibly can. You know, when we had our conversation the other day, I, I know I helped him out as much as I could. I know. We, we did our, our business, and then we got a chance to talk about the charities, and he told me everything that was going on. So, I mean, it's I'm glad that the three of you are kind of doing three different things, but at the same time, I know everyone's efforts, again, are, are all focused on Kaylee, and that's, that's what's important to me, and that's, you know, what I'm glad is, is happening. So, um, you know, that's why when I found out you were going on Larry King, I was like, well, it's, it's going to be a good, a good visit, I think. Um, well, I would have liked to have been afforded the opportunity to talk more about um, Kaylee's situation versus having to explain, you know, the 911 tapes and, and things like that. Else, but well, you know, you can defer other questions. You can defer questions. If but you know what? It's it's also important to, for people to understand. I asked a question where I advise the audio cuts out. And at this point, um, okay. we would uh, seek to publish 72 in evidence with the stipulation. Judge, may we approach on that? Yes, sir. 